All right, so this is pretty much a part two to Hot Cheeto Girl Uber, which at the end of the video, I said after all Becca put me through Ubering her around in part one, I would never do that again. Well, that was cap, because literally three days later, I got a similar opportunity I couldn't refuse. Oh, brother, man, get that goofy out of here. Goofy. I, I, chill out, chill out, chill out. I know what I said. But this next one was for a good reason. So on that day, I'm sitting at the campus library playing some reincarnated as a slime mobile and out of the blue, I got a random text from somebody named Shirley. I'm sitting there thinking like, Shirley? Who is this, my grandma? She got an old lady name. This girl probably like 21 going on 50. So I'm like, who are you? Stranger, state your business. She get to telling me how she's a friend of Becca's and how she would run her mouth all the time about how many rides she would have with me and that she wanted to cash in on the opportunity. She got my number from Becca and I tell her no, cause Becca done Corbin blued my ass. So I won't be driving people around no mo- $60 a ride changer line? I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Do I really need it? No, nigga, we don't need it. I need it, though. I need it. No, you don't. I mean, if not, then... No, 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 no. Deal. Okay, cool. I need a ride to the farmer's market. It's going to be like a 30-minute ride. <sighs> a $20 increase, huh? Here we go again. So I meet her outside her dorm, and before we took off, I got to know her first to make sure she wasn't a psychotic weirdo swoop. She get in the car, first thing that come out her mouth, oh, I thought you'd be cuter, and I thought you'd be skinnier, you freaking whale. <laughs> Good, you're not a snowflake. Which was crazy, cause she didn't look like the type to be able to take a joke and dish it out. Like, she really vibe checked me before I checked her, which gave her some points on my end, like, she was cool. Regardless of her personality, she paid me, so I'ma do my job. Put my feelings to the side, get in, get out. That's how a job should be done. So I'm like, so I noticed you and Becca had a lot of money to spend on rides. Like, where y'all get all that money from, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, I'm a successful streamer. I'm into gaming. Money? Yeah, I pay Becca to help me with homework while I'm streaming. Like, duh, <laughs> where you think she got all that money from? Me. I'm like, oh, it all makes sense now. Which left me kind of concerned because her family ain't rich. She ain't got a job. So she had to have been moving something to accrue them type of funds. And I ain't talking about that ass. So she continues to tell me how she's a super introvert homebody that saves up her money or uses it for rides and traveling out of town for conventions. Like if she's not traveling to a con or a business venture, she goes nowhere, bro. And I like that because I'm an introverted extrovert who slightly does the same thing. So I could relate. So throughout the rides up there, and back we got along fairly well which is surprising because i don't get along with everybody we got along so well that when we got back to the campus she invited me to her dorm to play with my joystick <laughs> so that night i left my dorm with my joystick to go to her dorm which was kind of tough because she didn't have visitation so i got in through her back window i see the whole pc gaming setup she got the led lights a mini see-through fridge with energy drinks stacked to the tippy top so i just assumed she was a gamer gamer like pro level so she hooked my controller up to her pc and the first game we start playing was <laughs> naruto ultimate ninja storm 4 my favorite game she like i play this a lot so don't hold back <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna hold back. Anybody that's seen me play Storm 4 before or knows how I get down in the game knows I don't hold back, regardless of the situation. You could be a complete noob at the game, bro. I am slapping you up and down the court. No hesitation, nothing but net. All nuts on head. Now, you know what's crazy about this entire situation? You would think with that entire setup she got, she would be an S tier gamer. Wrong. Helen Keller could have saw through that bull crap. Shorty really put me in a genjutsu, making me see whatever she wanted me to see. Cause this girl was doo doo, water and all. On top of that, bruh, I'm a level 99 trash talker. So you know I'ma jump down her throat with the insults. Bruh, you're garbage. Boo boo, butt cheeks. My three year old cat can play better than you. Retire. Put down the sticks. Put them in a body bag. I I I'm him. Count him, you look. Hemi Neutron. Bruh, who taught you how to play? Clifford? Bruh, you gotta be you done. 
look, can we play another game? Because this is too easy. You know, I love it when my opponents drown in delusion. <laughs> Wait, what? Believe it or not, but I've been holding back this entire time. Cap. Oh, really? I. I bet you the entire $60 I gave you today that you won't even land a single attack on me. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of believed her on the inside because she said it with so much conviction. Like the tone of her voice even had some bass in it. And I knew she wasn't playing around because I've done it to a couple of people before. I'd act like I'm an anime protagonist that hides his true power until somebody shows me all they've got. Then I power up on them. But I stopped doing that though because people will play you once, win, and make niggas suffer by never playing you again. I'm niggas. So I take her up on her offer. Deep, deep down inside, I was mad nervous. I could feel the sweat dripping down my butt cheeks. So I decided to focus and just push beyond my limits and get ready to receive this ass whooping. Bro, she rolled up her sleeves, sat crisscross in her chair, put that Hanayama grip on her controller. And when I tell y'all, this girl, was still trash, like what the freak? She raised her power level and still couldn't beat me, bruh. I felt like Beerus seeing Super Saiyan 3 for the first time. Like, bro, her anger made her play worse. Shorty hyped herself up just to get folded. Again, had me over here clutching my controller like I was finna get the beating of a lifetime. I thought I was finna get Saitama, but she gave me Moomin Rider. Devontae was thoroughly disappointed. Yes, I talked in third person. That's how bad the next game was. Bruh, she was so pissed when I broke her spirit that she broke her controller. And I don't blame her, because I did talk a lot of trash. And backed it up. <laughs> so I was happy. <laughs> you know what, though? I may have beat them doonies down in Storm 4, but when it came to Apex, whew, that girl be slinging that iron. Oh, okay, yeah. Wish a hater would come between what me and you got. Get it away the pink girl with ease, cause a trailer. Training is done. Just look how far we got. Yeah. yeah. When I need a push, I be thinking of you. Hop on the niggas, we don't need a coup. I'll take you and eat when we have the 